Hi everyone, Harris here with iDownloadBlog, and in this video I'm talking about iOS 13.5 which is available for download for your iOS devices. Now Apple initially was releasing this as an iOS 13.4 update but they promptly changed it to iOS 13.5 and this will probably be the last major update of iOS 13 before we get iOS 14. So iOS 13.5 is really about COVID-19. So one of the first things that you'll be able to see with this is that when you go into your settings and your privacy and then health, you'll see that up top you have the COVID-19 exposure notifications. Now this is very similar to the technology that Apple's using in the Find My App, which allows you to find a lost Apple device without a network connection by using low signal anonymous Bluetooth indicators. And this uses the same thing. And you may have seen that their collaboration with Google to provide these exposure notifications. Essentially with this on and with uh, your area's approval, so if your geographical location will approve of this feature, then you can voluntarily put into your phone and your data when you have COVID-19. And this feature will alert those who come across with that you have been um, exposed to somebody with COVID-19 so you can take the proper precautions. It doesn't expose who you are and doesn't use up your battery life or anything like that. It's anonymous, safe, and secure Bluetooth identities that are exchanged and deleted after 14 days. So that's the whole point of this. And I think it is a pretty good feature that's going to allow people without exposing their identities to simply alert others if they have been exposed to COVID-19. Of course, you can opt out of it though. Secondly, for those phones with Face ID, this now is improved to work better if you're wearing a mask. So before with the mask on, your Face ID is not going to recognize your face and is going to count it as a wrong face and it's gonna be problematic. Now with iOS 13.5, if your iPhone recognizes that you have a face mask on, it'll send you right to the passcode screen. So it'll recognize a face mask and allow you to type in your password automatically so you don't have to worry about incorrect face scans and you can go right into the passwords. Now a new cool setting is when you go into music and the share sheet, now you can share directly to Facebook and Instagram stories. So if I click on Instagram here, it'll take me over to Instagram and give me really cool artwork with that album and so that is a great way to share music right to your stories. Now another cool feature is in your FaceTime setting. So as it is when you're on a FaceTime group call, whoever is talking will take up the bigger rectangle or square on the screen and you might not want that. So now you can do something more like zoom and you can turn that off so that everybody has an equal size square and you get more of a grid. So this is a cool feature that will help with FaceTime calls, especially for large FaceTime calls. So that is iOS 13.5. It's pretty simple. There's a nice change to your music sharing. There's a nice change to FaceTimes, but a lot of it is just COVID-19 with the exposure notifications as well as face mask support for your face ID devices. Let me know if you have any questions or comments down in the comments section. And thanks for watching.